Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and today I am starting a new video tutorial series where I will discuss about the concepts of operating system. And this is the first video of our, of our tutorial series and in this video I will discuss about the introduction uh, which is definition of operating system and some of the roles and responsibilities of operating system. Okay, so here I have listed down some of the points. So now let us see each of these points one by one. Now the first point is operating system is an interface between hardware and user. Okay, so here operating system is been termed as an interface because this with the help of this operating system only we can communicate with various types of software applications which are installed inside the computer. We can interact with these softwares. We can uh, access to various hardware devices which are uh, connected to the computer system we can send an instruction to any hardware device and we can communicate with any software application only with the help of operating system so that's why it has been termed as an interface because it gives us a medium with which we can easily interact with both software applications which are installed inside, inside the system and as well as we can access various types of hardware devices. Now the second point is operating system is a system software which manages the resources of a computer. So here operating system has been termed as a system software okay so which gives us a platform for managing all the resources of the computer. Now, the third point is computer system is a collection of resources that are essential in performing various tasks. Okay? So a computer system is a group of various types of resources like keyboard, mouse, speakers, processor, printer, scanner. Okay? So all these are various resources and we use operating system to communicate with all these resources. Next point is these resources are managed and handled by operating system okay so the uh, whatever i said uh, just few seconds back so we access these resources only with the help of operating system next point is resources includes processors memory peripheral devices files disk storage units okay so one of the responsibility of operating system is to allocate resources for various tasks okay as we already know that computer is efficient in performing various types of tasks at the same time and it's the, it's the responsibility of the operating system to allocate the space and the required memory for these resources to get successfully executed inside the system and operating system is also responsible in providing security and successfully handling the errors okay next point is reclaiming the allocated resources after their use okay so once any process completes its execution inside the cpu then it's the responsibility of the operating system to reclaim the space whatever was given to that process to get executed inside the cpu so that its space can be allocated to some other process. Next point is it's the responsibility of the operating system to provide memory or to provide space for the program so that they can get executed inside the CPU. And it's also responsibility of the operating system to schedule the program when that process gets executed. And the last point is it's the responsibility of the operating system to successfully transfer the data from various peripheral devices to main memory and secondary memory. Okay, okay so these are some of the important points regarding operating system. And uh, in this video, we saw uh, what is uh, operating system, the definition of operating system, and uh, some of the roles and responsibilities of operating system. So I hope you understood each and every of these points and uh, that's all for this video if you like this video click on the like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching